Happy New Year's Eve, Eve folks, and welcome back to Injection of Inspiration, where every single week I gram GS and Matthews inject you with a daily dose of motivational advice, helpful tips, and all that other great positive shit. I said New Year's Eve, Eve, because this is going up, I believe, on December 30th, uh, the eve of New Year's Eve. And as such, um, like I talked about last year, and I spent the whole video about a year ago, and it's crazy to think I've been doing this series for just about a year now, but... I spent the second, third, or fourth installment, I forgot which one exactly it was, but if you go back in the playlist to the early installments of Injection of Inspiration, I did talk about a new year, goals, and stuff like that, and the whole new year, new me, all that fucking bullshit, and setting New Year's resolutions, and why you should be doing that every single fucking day, and not just at the start of the year. I am in full favor of setting goals for yourself, but I do not think you should be waiting until January 1st to do it. This is a brief synopsis of that video, by the way. If you want to check it out in full, please do so. It's here on the channel. Um, I will be talking about something else in regards to the new year and whatever, but not exactly goals and shutting out what could have been an awful year for you. I mean, again, don't blame it on the year. I've said this before. It might have been an awful year for you, but it could have been a great year for you. It could have been bad for this guy. It could have been a bad year for you. It could have been great for that other person. You never know. So 2017, the date did nothing to you. So fuck the date. The date didn't do anything for to you. It was only what happened during that year that really uh, might have been shitty. So I understand that, but don't take out, don't be putting up blog posts. Oh, 2017, worst year of my life. Okay, maybe of your life, but 2017 was not a terrible year for everyone. It was not a great year for everyone either. For me, it was a very good year. For Joe Schmo, it might have been a terrible year. So don't, it has nothing to do with like the, the date itself. A, a date is a fucking bunch of numbers on a piece of paper. You know, just take responsibility for what happens in your life. Try to make the most out of it. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Again, check out my full rant on that from the onset of 2017. I will take this opportunity, however, to talk about something that is very important to me that I've been doing for a, a while now. Now, someone came up to me about two years ago at work, almost exactly two years ago. It was in January of 2016. This guy, I met him for the first time. He was a customer. And I, now I see him pretty much all the time. He's a regular where I work. And he comes in spewing off this fucking wisdom nonsense. At the time, I took it for what it was worth. He was kind of annoying the first time I met him. But from there on out, when he kept on repeating the same stuff to not only me, but all my coworkers, I'm like, okay, this guy is a bit of a nutcase. But he did make a great point, though, the first time I did talk to him. He said to document everything. Because you never know. I mean, I'm not talking about like, oh, evidence in a case. Like this person said that I should write that down just to use it as evidence. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about document, maybe not everything, but like the, especially the most important moments of your life. People, some people hate social media. They don't have Facebook. They don't have Twitter. They don't believe in taking pictures and stuff like that. And that's fine. I don't believe in taking pictures of your fucking food. I don't care what Sally's eating for lunch today. But I take a lot of pictures. In the last few years alone on my phone, I've taken a ton of pictures and I save them all to one place on my laptop and exterior accounts and stuff like that. And it reminds me of what was going on at that time, what I was doing, what events I went to, who I was hanging out with, maybe how I was feeling. I'm just, I just have a good memory in general. A lot of other people don't. So you should really document stuff that goes on, um, especially when it comes to each year. Again, what might have been a bad year for you might have been a great year for someone else or vice versa. But I'm a big proponent of documenting big events during one year or your lifetime, whatever. Um, like the guy that I was talking to said, you should create an Excel sheet and go back to when you were first born. Like, I don't remember what the fuck I was doing at four years old on October 4th, 1999. Like, I have no fucking idea. Um, that being said, in recent years, dating back to, I think I might have done this for 2014, I create one of those notes like on your iPhone and I write down certain dates that stood out to me as being very, very good or something great happened. I probably should have wrote down what happened on each day. Um, I didn't. I really just wrote down like what happened on the day, like that it was a great day. Like if it was a great day, I wrote down the date. 2014, there might have been a few days. 2014 for me was not a great year. Um, one of my inspirations, the Ultimate Warrior passed away. At home was not a great year for me being home from college that summer. My grandfather passed away. Not my proudest year, but so I didn't have many, many dates that I wrote down as being, ex, you know, extra special. Like maybe Halloween when I went into Salem, Massachusetts that night. But beyond that, didn't have many dates. 2015 had a ton of dates written down from a certain stuff that I did: vacations, going to SummerSlam, um, having just a great day in general. I mean, I've I've talked about it before. Every day is a good day. It's up to you to make it great. But um, you know, some some days you can't 
avoid are just going to be shitty. Like I had to go to court one day that year uh, for nothing that I did, but for some family stuff. And it wasn't a good day. I was upset that day. It wasn't awesome. So I didn't write down that day, obviously. There might have been a little over 30 dates on that uh, little note of mine on my iPhone by the end of 2015. 2016 had even more. In 2016, I do not regard as being a great year for me. 2016, I enjoyed 2015 more than the next year. But 2016, for me anyway, had a lot more highs, but also a lot more lows. So it was very much a roller coaster for yours truly. But I had a lot of dates written down. Now, I'm kind of, um, you know, going back on my own advice here, but I kind of stopped doing this around 2016, um, September of 2016, around the time that I met my girlfriend. And since then, for me, I really haven't had many bad days at all. Um, I will write down certain dates that I know were great and that I know were awesome. I'll write, I'll write those down for sure. But beyond that, um, I really just forget sometimes because for me, I, I'm, life is good for me at the moment. So I'm not writing down everything. But I do document pretty much everything with photos and um, what I started doing in early 2016, I think in February of 2016. Not a diary, you don't have to keep a diary, but I will write mini blog posts to myself about what was going on, what I did. I just wrote one actually the other day um, about everything that I've done in the fall. Nothing like, oh, Sally broke my heart. Like, nothing like that. Just like stuff that I was doing. Um, like, my girlfriend's visiting currently as I record this. Um, I got a lot of other, a lot of other stuff has gone down the last couple months from going to Final Battle, meeting Christopher Lloyd, which was fucking awesome, going to New York to meet Finn Balor, going to an NXT house show, going to two weddings, all this other stuff that I've been able to do in the last couple of months, which has been a ton of fun, very busy, but a ton of fun, and being um, that it's been a ton of fun, that I haven't had the time to just sit back, relax, and smell the roses, so to speak, um, so I took the time to document everything that I've done with certain dates and why it was special um, just a few days ago. And I'm really glad I did because if I didn't do that, I might have forgotten. And if I did, then sometimes I have the pictures to kind of remind me how great a certain experience was. So especially, I mean, this goes for everyone, but especially for people that feel like shit or going through a tough time, document what's going on right now, how you feel. You can always go back and read it and remember how you felt at that point and it will make you feel that much better down the road when you feel better. Uh, knowing like, wow, I used to feel that bad at one point. Like I wasn't going through a great time at that at that time in my life. And now I feel 10 times better and I'm so proud of myself for coming from point A to point B and how far I've come. I'm proud of that. You know, you should document that type of stuff. Good, bad, whatever. Sometimes it makes you feel better. Sometimes writing, at least for me, can be very therapeutic. Writing about wrestling, I just do that because I enjoy it. But I do write down stuff um, that's that's happened, good, bad, Stuff that I'm thinking about, stuff that I think is going to happen. You know, you should write down, you should document all that stuff. Because down the road, you're going to forget this stuff down the road. It might be when you're 30, 40, 50, 60. Memories fade. Um, you know, memories do fade. You're not going to remember everything you were doing in 2017 and 2057, you know. And maybe, you know, the computer that you write it on crashes and you lose that file forever. But you never know. We live in an age where stuff sometimes can live forever if you have it backed up in certain places. So you can look back on this down the road and be like, wow, that's what I was doing back then. I completely forgot about that. Sometimes attach photos or videos. Again, don't document everything. This morning, I wrote a fucking blog post about bagels. Like, who cares? You don't have to write about that. Like, I did that in 2015. Maybe not that exact example, but... Or like, oh, you know, I ate a salad today for lunch. Like, who gives a shit? You won't give a shit. Don't even bother. Um, so, like, I, I started doing that, I think, in early 2015 or 2016. It was probably 2016, I think, that I did that. Where, like, each day I would write down what happened that day and I would bold it if it was, like, a, an especially enjoyable day. I lost track of doing that because I just got busy and it just wasn't working. So, I just stopped doing it. But um, it is important to document, especially the important stuff. As the year comes to a close, what were the highlights of 2017? Don't, don't forget to include the lowlights either. Don't forget to include those low points. Those are important too. Not everything can be peachy and rosy. Again, 2017 for me was a great year. Um, but there were also some certain points that, that weren't so great. And maybe not for weeks at a time, but like certain days and stuff where shit happened. Document that stuff too. It's important. Document everything. It's very therapeutic, but even more over than that, it can help you remember stuff down the road. And, um, you know, not only helpful for the time, but helpful for the future. Help other people learn from your experiences. Learn from 
your mistakes and your triumphs and your tragedies, stuff like that. It's very important to document stuff like that. And you can do it in a variety of ways. You can do it like I had said, just create a note on your phone, write down a day, maybe why it was special so you don't forget about it. So you don't just see a day and like, why was that special? I don't remember nothing about it. Maybe write down a reason or two why it was cool and that's about it. Or you can just write down on a notepad, like a literal notepad. If you have one of those still, I know those still exist. Shocker in 2017. Um, you can type it up, which is easier for me on a laptop, on an iPad. You know what? Fuck it. Take a voice memo on your phone or record something and, and save that. Like, this is what happened today. This is what happened this month. This is what happened in 2017. That stuff is really, really important. Don't forget that. Th just keep that in mind as we come to the conclusion of 2017, document it all. You might not remember literally a week from now. You might not. So take the time to document it. People will look back on this stuff, not just you, but other people will be like, wow, this person was super fascinating with everything they did during this point in their time or this point in their life or they did this, they did that. They, they should have done that. They, they could have done this, you know? Write it all down. Write everything down. Maybe not everything, like you like an, eat a fucking bagel this morning, but um, it could uh, be very helpful for the future. Document especially the big moments that you will remember and you'll be happy you remembered down the road. So that's my two cents for today's year-end edition of Injection of Inspiration. Of course, guys, thank you so much for your support of the show over the course of 2017. Um, I always get a lot of feedback from you guys from like on Twitter and stuff like that saying it's helped out a lot. I don't get a lot of comments on the videos themselves. Sometimes I do. More often than not, I'll have people like Jason say, Oh, that video helped me out. I enjoyed that. Thank you. That, to me, means the world. That is better than any gift. I got on Christmas or anything else that anyone could ever really do for me that hearing that type of feedback that I helped someone feel better about themselves or help someone look at something in a different way is invaluable. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. We will continue the show, of course, in 2018. Why wouldn't we on Saturdays? I've also toyed around with the idea of doing movie reviews. So we might do that in the new year as well. But other than that, guys, just have an awesome rest of 2017 and a very happy 2018 to you as well. I'm Graham G.S. and Matthews, and I'll catch your ass down the road in 2018.